now is really just for you and we need to put together more integrated documents. I'm going to just yeah. speak at the end about my personal learnings from the project and Andre will take you through what's been happening at the school. Yeah, uh, uh, we were watching Sadiq and our, we were saying that this is the most fun. So that you animated. Animated, yeah. And also with the Pelican, we had a meeting with Penny Winterfeld around the whole aspect and they say we're doing well. so. They help needy schools. They see us as a very, very good school, so we lost the end of So it's inspirational for me to hear that you actually make a headway with your gene. So I'm going to try to follow suit. Okay, you uh, five minutes. So uh, <laughs> that's our badge there. This handsome guy, that's me. Yeah. And this is my <laughs> second wife, the lovely uh, RMJ. Oxygen. Other lady in my life, my oxygen wife. <laughs> so let's go to the. Okay, so. Um, yeah, go This, uh, when Sue came to visit my school, we introduced her to the old school. And uh, some of the children were quite astounded that, you know, they, they, they now are married, so now they know that this is not my wife. So, <laughs> who's this woman? So in the, in the one class, this is the grade 5 A class of last year. And I don't know how we chose this class. When, when the photo was developed, we noticed South Africa on top of the wall. You know, so this is taken last year in the class. And, um, um, what happened is, when, when, the reason why Sue and I got on very well is because when she came to visit me, I asked myself, how am I going to connect with this lady? So I told her, I, I told her something that I tell very few people, I think in this room, she's the only one who knows that story. Am I right? You can tell it now. And, 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 and um, through that we connected immediately. Okay, so I believe that we, uh, it's, a, it's a leap of faith that we took, this bridge of trust that we crossed. Okay? Uh, and then the invitation was, what's the possibility of uh, me being the agent of change at our school? And then she comes along to support me um, for at that time, it was a year, but it could be two years, it could be for the rest of my life. It could be a lifetime. Uh, <laughs> the, what's the possibility of, of her stepping into my business partner at school here? Okay. Um, now, at home, I do a lot of thinking at home, in, in the sunroom there, and... Uh, I think it was all, my whole relationship with uh, uh, the project as an umbrella and it's uh, Ben Zander's approach with a line of possibility. For me, that's like a, the Santa umbrella that covers everything. <laughs> you like that commercial, right? <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm a big uh, fundi around possibility. My old school, my teachers, they know about possibility. My governing body members know, I think, in the color yellow. I'm going to try in my office, I have one designated wall with the color, with the color yellow. It will have a bubble there, radiating possibility like our black sweaters. So, um, okay. So, what's the three training sessions to add? The first one is possibility. I think this is an awesome book. If you don't have the book, you must get one. Maybe we can provide you with one through your funder. You can speak to Metropolitan or Suntum. It's a very good. I believe that all of you, as headmasters, you should have that book. Because you cannot sell yourself as a possibility guru if you don't have that book. That's a possibility Bible, okay? <laughs> so, um, my favorite quote is on page 19. I impede that you can read it yourself as one of the other principles said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, and what happened is one Saturday morning, I started to type, just type, shh, and I came up with this live possibility. And I emailed it to UG, uh, to uh, Louise, and she, uh, she liked it. Oh, and, um, and, and on that, that um, uh, paper, I say we're based on four things which is uh, possibility versus scarcity thinking. The other one is um, uh, um, strength-based schooling rather than a block, uh, deficient uh, 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 thinking model. People come in here, they want to fix us. We do the fixing as well. We've got gifts here. We don't have to wait for someone to come and fix us. <laughs> and then the third thing is um, uh, um, citizenship, you know, versus consumerism. I tell my parents when we have the sports, I say you're a citizen. If you haven't got, if you're unemployed, come and work at the school, paint, whatever. Look after the class, roll off stuff. But we no longer gonna, we no longer run our school like a Kentucky. You pull up in your car, you place your order for a burger, and you want it, and you want it. When you say when, you must come and work here. And the fourth thing is, the fourth thing is, uh, we have the power to act. We have the power to act. We can't wait for Superman, for we have the department, whatever. We need to, we need to act. We have the, the is, we have the power to act. Like there, you just heard that what, what uh, that lady did at the school to get all. It was her community, her school community driving that. Okay. Um, okay. And then Sue also wrote, Sue also wrote an article, she, her article is, you cannot lead where you are, where you yourself, where you yourself not 
willing to go. So that article, both the articles is on the, the lead essay site. And then the first block that meant a lot to me is the training we got from this guy from the States, Peter Blanc. Um, and I believe this is awesome. If you want the school to change, you've got to change the way you have meetings with parents. It must be in groups of three. Um, I was in a meeting with uh, uh, um, uh, department officials and they, they still don't get this right. They still have <laughs> cinema style meetings. It's not working. That's why you know, we need to transform you need to have some three groups. And in Peter Block, what I like about him is we must stop focusing on the problems in the community and look at the solutions, the possibility. Because if you look at the problems all the time, you're going to you're going to resign, you're going to get ill, you're going to get a heart attack, whatever. You're gonna... And then how you do that, you do it one group at a time. Like we're doing now, and we together, like those two previous speakers. They're making the change now, because I took notes from them, which they, you know, encouraged me to do the same at my school. So we focus on gifts rather than deficiencies. We do gifts. I had this morning two parents in my um, office, the Caldermans, Mr. and Mrs. Calderman. They went through three schools. My school was the last. So Mary's and Andrews, and they arrived at my school. I don't know whether they're gonna, the kids are going to come to my school next in grade or. But the thing is, they, they stay closer to St. Mary's, so they're probably going to text. They could probably going to take them at St. Mary's because the other two kids were also there. But I learned from this couple that they married for 15 years. So I thank them for the gift that they brought to my school for me to stay strong in my marriage. They were blown away because the other schools, they just gave them the forms and they left. <laughs> the man eventually said to me, I must not go to work. Uh, Saturday we're having a Thanksgiving and I invited them to come. I said, even if your children, your child doesn't come to my school, come. So I thanked him. I said, thank you. I said to the dad, thank you for keeping your marriage strong. Thank you for that gift. Now other, that's a marriage and St. Anthony's, those principals don't know what. They didn't have that experience. You see. You see. Okay. And then, um, okay, we can leave that. And we work very closely with the Grosvenor Park Cluster. There are schools here that's involved with that. Read one, Pelican, Capricorn, Fairmount. The schools are retreat. 35, we just got from the, um, what company? <coughs> 37, how many million? 4.3? The Alpha Nation got 4.3 million to, 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 to bridge the gap between grade 7, 8, and 9 math teachers. We, this guy, Selwyn, he, he, the coordinator, he does not work like Veronica does here with us, and he got us for funding, he throws up his friends, and we pay him. Am I right, brother? We pay him. Um, and then, uh, this is still, Sue and I need to work on this for this year. We never went to the Madiba route, we are sort of internal, like with the staff and the governing body, and small groups. So we're gonna, that's a target for this year. Um, and then this time to think, uh, with uh, Maurice Barak, um, it was good. And then this lady, Margaret J. Wheatley, she's got a lot of articles on the internet. You must Google her. She's got brilliant articles on the internet about these special principles. You must think better. Okay? Um, um, <laughs> then you know the, the IQMS? The IQMS? Mm. Mark, the IQMS? We don't, I can't swear, <laughs> we don't talk about DSGs, we don't talk about DSGs, we talk about thinking environments, thinking environments, thinking environments, and we don't know the teacher, we, we, we talk to the teacher, we support the teacher, all the time, um, we're changing IQS forms also, okay, you know in the record of, 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 of development in the workshops, at the end there I put in our philosophy there on that form, because you can change that form, but don't cost them so. You can change it. So you can put in stuff what you're doing here on that form. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, this thing is great, eh? the, 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 the flawless consulting. When I engage with my staff, I show up in blue. You know, we as principals, we want to be the main guys. We want to like be the lead, like you do what I tell you to bloody do. Uh, it doesn't work because you need to show up in blue. That's worked for me. My coach one day said to me, he's going to take my under 13 ticket boys for two days to send to customers to take them for the whole day. I thought, this can't happen. So we had a meeting with my management and him. When we started, they were double blue, red and green. I said, guys, we're going to be blue. So what happened is we threw up. So what happened is the kids left at half past 12. And instead of training for two days, we gave him four days. And the one day, the Friday, he had the kids for the whole day. So he won big time because we were just thinking color blue. <laughs> color blue. Okay? Yes. Okay, uh, this we can leave. That's you can leave. You know what I meant. Uh, then this was great, eh? Last year. Yay! Great! 
My first small group parents. The parents came in. The parents came in. I used these three books. The parents came in. That's my, my facilitator's um, manual. Go to the next one. The next, next one. You must set up the room. No, like we did the training at Constantia, um, at the Shunsat. The room can't be, um, it can't be dull. When they come in, they must, hey, it must, you know, it must be, it must just be a blank wall. So I put this up. So when they came in, they saw the chairs like this. So the parents thought that the room wasn't prepared. I'm going to have a very meeting. I'm going to have a very meeting. But why is the room not set up? What the hell is going on with this man? He's crazy. So they came in. Crazy. That's the front. Of, that's by one grade seven class. It's a big double class. That's the front. Um, so they they started to sit. And these are the people in the small groups. This was amazing. One parent, that's in my portfolio, says, because they had to give feedback. How was the meeting? So the one parent wrote that it was uh, a meeting of love and joy. One guy works for NetBank. He says, in the day, my, my workers don't talk to each other. But when I address them in a staff meeting, they just look at me. <laughs> so I said to this guy, so what do you think about this session? He says, it makes you think about your thinking. <laughs> yeah, when he said that, I felt this so okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I asked him, what's the possibility of you doing this at that bank? So he looked at me. I said, Tim, come fix me. Come fix me. I mean, just face a day. At the school in the grade R and they one meeting, we got it right. But the company like near they they something to do it. transferable in another. 
And that's again where my leadership development has happened, coming into a very different context from what I'm used to. And um, you know, the security and the confidence I have in that context is not necessarily transferable in another context, in an educational system that I don't know much about and I'm still scared of them. Although now when I come into Andre's office, I sit behind in his chair just to break barriers. Um, and talking about shared vision, my personal motto and my philosophy on my own company, which is called Perspectives, has always for the last seven years been developing potential and enhancing performance. And it fits so well, there was such synergy with the vision of School at the Centre of Community and in terms of my own interaction with Andre. And then also learning from the partnerships, bringing them in. For instance, when Andre had a, a death in the family due to cancer, we got hospice in the school to, to come in and speak to the children who've obviously they've lost a lot of people through that and bringing it in and then also obviously taking it out. Next. Um, yeah. Um, and then the website. We're, it's, I'm still busy fine-tuning, but after 40 years, 40 has been quite a symbol for us. Last, the end of last year, the school turned 40, I turned 40, and now we're at the point of launching um, the website. So this is basically a screenshot of what the website will look like that I've just developed, um, and we've put a whole lot of things in place, and we'll be launching that um, very soon. Wow. Moved up Jagger, I spoke at Andre's prom for the grade sevens, yes. and Andre and I were on the dance floor with the grade sevens, and I think they were blushing more than we were. Yes. Um, and on Saturday, we're having the celebration of the 40th anniversary. Which is and can, I, can I just add that they also did. You, you know, they censored. You know that I, um, I'm also a life coach practitioner, so I had a, I had a, my dream is to turn all my teachers into life co coaching uh, practitioners. So this year, my two HODs were trained by Sue and Veronica, as well as uh, uh, Fevers. And this year, my union at Tosa trained um, Ms. Nitsky. And that mindset, the coaching and mentoring has uh, it's turned the teacher around, but like I think she said at her school, the coaching and mentoring now, uh, this teacher of mine has steps up to the plate and says to me, I can do this for you, I can do that for you. So my challenge to the headmasters here is, Try and use this facility of the coaching. It's, it, it's a turnaround for your for your teachers to improve their, their, their relationship with the with the, with the pupils that's working at my school. Cool.